UDF module allows you to maintain and use user-defined fields. To enable it, go to Tools, Program Control, Module Setting. Check the checkbox of UDF. This module is available in all editions. OK. Go to Start All Programs, AutoCount Accounting, AutoCount Accounting Management Studio. This is the AutoCount Accounting Management Studio login screen. Select the same account book and log in as admin. In fact, only admin user is allowed to log in. Go to Tools, User Define View. Expand the categories. Highlight to select a table. There are more than 70 tables. For example, I have selected Invoice, which means Invoice Master, that including header and footer as opposed to the invoice detail. Click on maintain fields. Click on the plus sign to add a new UDF. Name. Assign a name to this UDF. For example, hobby, date of birth, education, and so on. Caption means name of the field to be displayed on the interface. It will capture the UDF name automatically. You may change if you want. Type. There are several UDF types available. Required? Check this checkbox to make input compulsory. Unique? Check this checkbox to prevent repetitive input value. Let's look at UDF type text. You may either allow a free text box or maintain a compo box. The text is alphanumeric. Assign the size. The maximum length of text box is 4000. Least is to adapt a compo box which was maintained by using edit list. Click on edit list. Click on add to add a new list. Key in the list name, for example hobby, and key in the strings for a compo box selection. These are the possible choices. One choice per line. The content of the user defined list can also be modified at auto count accounting, general maintenance, user defined field maintenance. Back to Management Studio, click on OK and Save. Click on the drop down button to select the list name. We shall look at other UTF types later. Click on OK, Save. To see the effect, go to Auto Account Accounting, log in to the same account book, try to add a new invoice. Since my user defined field is maintained at the master, look at More Header and user defined view. The UDF is ready to use. Let's go back to AutoCount Accounting Management Studio. This time I'm going to select another table, Invoice Detail, Maintain Fields, add a new field. Let's say the name is Weight, and the UDF type is Decimal, means a number with decimal points. Precision means number of digits. I will choose 5. Scale means number of decimal points. I put 2, OK, and save. Go to Auto Count Accounting and add a new invoice to see the effect. Add a new item. As you can see, there is a new column in the detail section by the name of weight. So for each item, I can put in the weight amount. Let's go back to Management Studio and look at other UDF types. Integer means a whole number without decimal points. For example, volume, number of person. Date means a field to enter date, time, or date and time. Boolean means either true or false. Memo is for multi-line free text, for plain text. Image link is meant to store the linking path to a image file. Rich text means multi-line free text for rich text. System. When you select system, it means you are going to use the data that was maintained at existing system master files and fields, such as account area, credit term, currency, item group, item number, and so on. Cancel. Look at the bottom of the screen. Click on Copy UDF. will copy the 
highlighted UTF from this table and then you can go to another table and click on paste UTF to paste the same UTF on another table. User defined feed you can be exported from one account book and imported to another account book. Just make use of tools, import and export user defined view and scripting. That's all for user defined view module. Thank you.